Hey, I want to talk about something real quick that is holding you back from making sales consistently. These are a few extra sales techniques, closing techniques that I haven't went over before. I used these on Success Society yesterday. I want to go through a few things, several things that help Success Society members close more deals. And we had about, we had probably close to 50 members on, on, on uh, the calls lately. And, and people are raising their hands like, dude, that was the best training. One of the simplest training on closing that I've ever seen. Okay, so I want to walk through um, what really are you doing when you're trying to get someone to pull the trigger? What does the appointment look like, right? And if and I've always got these four steps. I'm going to break it down even simpler today for those new agents, struggling agents that need help getting over the hump, right? Um, the first step is you, you're, you're always building rapport. That's the first piece, right? The second piece is you're identifying a problem. And the third piece is you're offering a solution because you want them, you want to find common ground. You want them to know, like, and trust you. Then you want to move into identifying a problem. This is where a lot of people struggle with finding the problem. Once they find the problem, they don't go deeper into the problem. Once you identify the problem, you have to go deeper. It's like finding the wound and then pouring salt in the wound and going 10, 12, 15 questions deep on that problem to magnify the problem, to build the value in your solution, right? And then when you offer a solution, you gotta offer the solution with so much certainty that it's a no brainer for them to pull the trigger, okay? So again, building rapport is doing what? It's building a relationship, right? The relationship needs to be there. If the relationship's there, it makes it easier for you to close the deal. True or true, right? It does, right? So the relationship needs to be there. After the relationship, once you identify the problem, the value has to be there. And these are the three things that have to happen in every single cell, by the way. The relationship's got to be there. They've got to see value in the product or service or the solution that you're offering. And then once you actually identify the problem and go deeper in the problem and eventually offer the solution, which I don't offer solutions until I'm confident they're going to pull the trigger, until I'm confident they're going to buy, until I'm confident they're going to do it right away. And then after I identify the problem and I build the value in them solving that problem and magnifying the problem, which I did a live role play in our weekly accountability group. We have a success society group. I went deeper and actually did a live role play with the audience yesterday in our weekly accountability group. If you want to be a part of that weekly accountability group, shoot me an email, Cody at CodyAskins.com. We'll get you in there, okay? Because it's me training you every single week, pounding on you to be better, okay? And then when you get to offering the solution, there's the certainty that needs to come with it. We've always talked about the five C's. We talk about these different things, but you need to get to where you have so much certainty that you're going to close the deal that it's a total no-brainer, right? Because I want to ask you guys a question real quick. What's what's really the secret to closing deals, by the way? What do you think the actual secret to closing deals, to closing sales, to get people to pull the trigger right now? What's the true secret? The secret is that you need to believe that they're going to buy every single time. If there's ever a piece of you that doubts that they're going to buy, you will miss deals because you're lacking it yourself, right? You're going to be so confident in your ability to get it done. You're going to be so confident and certain in in your solution, solving their problem, and that you know they're going to buy every time, or I'm telling you, you're going to lose out on sales because you, your mindset's holding you back because you don't believe they're going to buy every time before you know it. Right, that's holding you back. Okay, here's one thing I want to go over really quick. That's pretty, pr- pr- pretty crazy. When I started thinking about it lately, what do most salespeople do? Here's the typical sales process or sales cycle um, for here's the, the here's the average salesperson. By the way, I'll, I'll I'll promise I'll get a new market before next video. Okay, here's the average salesperson. The average salesperson tells 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 and then asks at the end. Okay, we're so used to telling, right? Okay, so why are you calling me? What's this for? How's this going to help me? Um, what are you going to do for me? Et cetera, et cetera, right? We're so used to telling. And then we start vomiting and puking and telling and thinking that thinking that, that they need product knowledge. And they need to know everything before they can make a decision. In reality, the more you tell them, the more they know, the more cr- clouded, the cloudy and crowded their brain gets, which means they're going to actually struggle to, to actually pull the trigger. I'm telling you guys, this is freaking crazy stuff. But the more they know, the more crowded it gets upstairs, the more like, the more you tell them, the less likely they are to actually pull the trigger. Okay, this is what average salespeople do right here. They tell, 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 and then they get to the end and they ask, "What do you think? What do you want to do? How do you want to move forward? Do you like this? Do you want to think about it?" You know, like the, the, the worst question of all is, oh, well, what do you think, right? It's horrible. You're going to lose deals when you do that. So I'm trying to put an end to that right now, okay? Here's what great salespeople do. Great salespeople ask, ask, they do everything in reverse. They ask, 
They ask, 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 question, 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 which a lot of people think the person that's asking questions is in control. Who believes that? I'm going to go a step further, and I want, I want to know in comments below. Uh, I already know you agree, so I don't even care. The, the person that's asking questions is sort of in control, but the person that's really in control is the person that's getting answers to their questions. Because if you're asking questions and not getting answers, then who cares? They're still in control because they're not an, and they're not answering you, right? So, so the point is, when you ask questions, get answers, or you're training them to not answer you. When you train them to not answer you, guess what? You're getting them in this habit of not making a decision, not viewing you in a state of control. They're not answering you. And then when you get to the close, they're not going to answer you again. They're not going to buy. They're not going to make a decision. And it was your fault the whole time because you didn't train them to make decisions and to specifically respond to you and answer your questions so that you're able to be in control. Okay, so great those people ask Ask, 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 and then at the end, they tell. The end, they tell. They don't say, what do you think? Do you want to do this? Do you like this? What do you, what, what, what? at the end, they, get, they ask questions the whole time. They're in control. They're leading the conversation. They're, they're, they're identifying the problem. They're going deeper in it. They're asking tons of questions about it. When they offer the solution, they're like, okay, I'm not going to ask you if you want to do this because I know it's the right thing for you to do. It's a no-brainer. It makes perfect sense. So I'm going to help you put, put this in place because it solves your problem. So here's the next steps on how I'm going to help you do that. Right? They're not asking. It's not a question. Great salespeople actually tell at the very end. They, they, they literally tell. A lot of you right now, I want to know in comments below right now because I know a lot of you are struggling with this. A lot of you are tell, 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 tell puking, vomiting, talking, 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 talking. Oh, that, the, the, oh uh, I don't know what to say, so I'll just talk, 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 talk. 60, 90 seconds later, the person's freaking asleep, right? The average salesperson is telling and then asking at the end. And I'm telling you, the secret is great salespeople do this instead. They ask, 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 ask. I don't speak unless it's a freaking question. And at the end, I tell. At the end, I tell. And I want to know if you're telling or if you're not. What I've learned is the secret is to talk less. So, so when I talk less, I make sales. When they talk more than I do, right? Because if you think about this, in which example, who's talking more in this example? The agent is, right? You are, because you're doing all the telling. Okay, now in this example, who's talking more? The prospect is. And I'm telling you, because you're asking and they're doing the telling. The more you can get them to talk, the more you can get them to share, the more they will tell you why they're going to be doing business with you and why they're going to buy. And it becomes so much easier. And their guard comes down and they end up choosing it. They end up buying. They end up doing all this on their own. And a lot of us don't even realize what we're doing by telling, by putting people to sleep, by puking on people and not asking questions and then telling at the end. And a lot of us lack the certainty to be able to get someone to pull the trigger immediately. I'm telling you, you need to have the certainty at the end, if you're not certain they're going to do business with you, guess what? They absolutely never will. Okay, so here's what I want you to take away from today. Relationship value certainty. You're building rapport. You're identifying a problem. You're offering a solution. And stop telling so much. Stop talking so much. Start asking. And at the end, start telling. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. If you want to make $221,520 next year in 2021, I'm going to show you the seven steps that you need to master. The seven things you need to grow at, the seven things you need to absolutely get great at, and I'm going to go over them right now.